<laughs> What's wrong? Why do you hesitate? Pull the trigger. Shoot me. You know you want to. Why do you hold back? What's stopping you? If you do not pull the trigger, Agent Jacqueline Hyde, I will attack. Your mistake! <laughs> your hesitation is your foolishness. Now that I've begun my invasion, let us explore the depths of your psychosis.
so much rage, so much serenity, all in one little package. Can it, Robert? I want you out of my head, and I want you out now. Please, Agent Jacqueline. I prefer psychosis. And what's the hurry? Here in this realm, time has no meaning. Everything that occurs here... Is all in the blink of an eye, I know. But that's irrelevant. The point is you're inside my head, and you have no business being here. Get out. Now. My, my. Aren't we touchy? So opposed to having me inside your head, and so eager to quickly usher me out. Is it perhaps because you have something to hide? Something dark, perhaps? That's none of your business. We all have things to hide. Ah, uh, but Miss Goody Two-Shoes, agent does everything by the books, has a dual side. One that she's been keeping shelved and locked away. You know, the one that's trying to get out. The one you keep suppressing. Your inner desire to cut loose. Unchained from any moral cages, uninhibited by any societal expectations. But alas, you're more concerned about the pressures you imposed on yourself. I'm a special operative. I have duties, responsibilities, obligations. But none of that matters in here. We're inside your mind. Here, you can cut loose and roam as freely as you'd like. But you won't. You bind yourself so deeply to the societal expectations of your position that you've allowed them to mold you into conformity. Social conformity, as it were. You're so concerned about remaining in this conformed state to keep your reputation that you constantly attempt to suppress your other self. But you're only able to barely repress it. Other self? So you're set on believing that I'm faced with a duality then? Good versus evil? Man versus animal? Restrained versus unleashed? Duality? I will agree you're at war with two selves, but only one of you is the true self. The other is a facade, a mask you wear, covering the real identity that defines who you truly are. But your obedience to social conformity has shaped you into thinking that your mask is the real you. So then humor me, psychosis. What would you say is the real me? <laughs> well, the one at birth, of course. Before being subdued by social influences, at the core level, every being is concerned about one thing, their own survival, self-preservation. It is our nature to be concerned with having our needs met, to have our wants fulfilled. We are, by nature, egocentric. It is natural to think only of the self, to survive unbridled, uninhibited, and unconcerned about the well-being of others. The concept of right and wrong is thrust upon us by social upbringing. We are conditioned by the reactions from others that doing right is good and doing wrong is bad. We are praised for exercising what is deemed as good and criticized for doing what is deemed as wrong. Over the course of many years of social influences, we become perpetually concerned with our outer appearances, how we look, how we present ourselves. We place value in how people see us, placing emphasis in our reputation. We find gratification in the approval or disapproval from others. And selflessness? It is nothing more than a mutually beneficial behavior, one that benefits two or more parties, including oneself. This just keeps getting better and better. This is the part where you elaborate. Think about it. We help others because we say that we care. When we help others, we feel good about ourselves. When we miss out on helping a person in need, we momentarily feel terrible. Basically, it's that feeling you get. We're more apt to help a person that we like, or one that shows gratitude. Many of us are less inclined to help a rude person, or anyone we don't like. For those of us who still care to help the rude individual, we do so knowing that we, at least, have done our part as the good Samaritan. In other words, it is for our own satisfaction that we're doing a form of selfless good for others. This ultimately suggests that the true self is never truly extinguished, just utilized in a disguised way, thus mutually beneficial behavior. Well, when you put it that way, then all of us have a duality. Oh, absolutely. But not everyone is aware of it. You are different in that you are not only aware of it, you are at war with both sides, struggling to accept which one should be the more dominant one. Naturally, due to the opposing nature of either side, it's impossible for both sides to coexist simultaneously. Only one can be active while the other remains suppressed. While you want to entertain and let loose your true self, you're worried about the damage it might do to your image with your facade self. So you keep it contained, placing you in a perpetual cycle of struggle, anguish, and turmoil, because your true self desperately wants out. It wants to be free, to enable you to be you, but your facade self won't let it. If I understand this correctly, 
The more I contain it, the more it wants out. And the more it wants out, the more I suffer agonizing anguish. Is that right? Well, how about it? Are you afraid to indulge yourself in just the slightest because you're afraid you cannot control it? Or are you afraid it'll get out of control? You're the one holding the gun, Jacqueline Hyde. The control is right at your fingertips. It's easy to control, it's just one finger. You should have no problem maintaining control. So why hold yourself back in a realm that's all your own? This is your domain, your world, your empire. You can pull the trigger anytime you want and let loose your pent-up rage, freeing your inner desires, your inner self, letting out the real you. Why is liberation such a bad thing? If you think it'll become a problem, you can always stop firing and lower the gun. The greatest kindness you can do for yourself is to let yourself roam freely. Liberated. It feels good to be free. Uncaged, unrestrained, uninhibited. Just like when we were children. Pure. Innocent. Free. There's no need to hold back here. So go ahead. Pull the trigger. But do it under your will, under your decision. And don't worry about time. You have all the time in the world here. In the end, no matter what you do. It is only a brief moment, one that has no effect in reality. You are free to do whatever you desire here. It has no consequence in the real world. You will not, not be, be judged, judged here. here. Free your, your true, true self. self. Indulge the real you. you. Good morning, Jacqueline. The time is 8.46 a.m. with fair weather at 72 degrees. How are you feeling today? Liberated. I'm feeling liberated. 